a crab-eating monkey has made the list of animals most likely to invade the state of Florida over the next decade. Researchers warn the monkeys are likely to carry a virus that is deadly to humans, News.com has learned. Experts from academic, government and non-profit agencies conducted a study that found the four most likely invaders to the state. Among them is the crab-eating macaque, also known as the long-tailed macaque, a species of monkey native to Southeast Asia. The one that wasn't even on my radar was the macaque, the lead researcher on the study, Dia Lawrence, said in a statement from the University of Florida, UF. The species lives in captivity in the state, and Lawrence said the animal's appetite for crabs would have an impact on our native biodiversity. A crab-eating macaque invasion would also pose risks to human health, she said. The animal's relative, the rhesus macaque, is another non-native species that has already established a population within the state's Silver Spring State Park. Rhesus macaques carry a strain of herpes that is deadly to humans, called herpes B, and Lawrence said the crab-eating macaques are likely to host this virus as well. The first-of-its-kind study for North America, according to UF, found that the crab-eating macaque was one of four most likely invaders along with the zebra mussel, red swamp crayfish and alewife, a type of herring. Over the past 50 years, introductions of non-native species have doubled, potentially driving biodiversity loss and raising concerns about new invaders, the December 2023 study published in the journal Ecosphere said. The research also said biological invasions have cost the North American economy $1.26 trillion. Invasive species management tends to be reactive, instead of preventative, Lawrence said. This was the reason behind this project, to protect Florida's natural areas, while also saving the money and effort that would go into management strategies. The team used a technique called horizon scanning to identify and rank potential invaders based on their likelihood of arrival, likelihood of establishment and spread, and potential ecological, economical and human health impacts. Of 460 vertebrates, invertebrates, algae and plants with invasive characteristics suitable to Florida's environment, 40 species were classified as being at higher risk of invasion. The study also discussed possible pathways for these species to enter the state, finding the most likely routes to be through escape from confinement, like pet and aquarium releases, and transportation. The researchers recommended thorough risk analysis, increased surveillance and periodic reviews.